Hello, today I'm going to show you best practices on how to navigate around the web version of Service Bridge. Service Bridge offers a variety of views to work with, uh, but today I'll be touching on the most popular offerings. So we are currently on the homepage. Uh, to start off, let's begin our overview with a simple understanding of the search functionality. Uh, this search functionality is found in this magnifying glass here, which is upper left-hand corner. Uh, so if I mouse over to this glass, you can then type in any search that you would like. Uh, this includes a specific work order, a customer, or a product. Uh, so let's type in Windex and see what populates. So as you can see, Windex is a part that we have already entered before. And if I click on that part, we can see more information about it. Great, now let's go back to the home page and let's try one more search. Let's select that search functionality again, upper top left corner. And let's search for a customer of ours, for instance, Macy's. So I'll start to type in Macy's and as you can see, it auto populates to a few things. You can see our customer is Macy's. We have a few estimates that have been created as well as a work order. So as you can see, it's very easy to go directly to what you're looking for from the search bar. Great, moving on. Uh, the next thing I wanna show is a universal add button, which is this plus symbol that's next to the search bar. Um, so if you wanna add anything that includes maybe a new work order or estimate, you are just two clicks away from doing so. Other things you might wanna add include a new product, maybe a task, uh, a customer. Uh, this functionality allows your team to easily input any new service that comes in. All right, on the left side here, we have some quick links that will get you directed to things such as your customers, estimates as you've created, uh, some work orders, some scheduling information, and more. Uh, when I select customers, that'll go ahead and pull up all of our customers that we have to date. If I wanted to list them alphabetically, all I have to do is select display name and it will take care of that. If you have a whole slew of customers and you just want to find one that begins with the letter W, you can use this search functionality up top right here. So let's go ahead and select W and let's see what gets populated. So as you can see here, one of our contacts has a last name with a W and then we do have two customers that begin with W, which includes Walgreens and Whole Foods. All right, let's take a look at our work orders that we have going on. So on the left side here, let's select work orders. And then you'll notice on the top right corner here with the more button, I can go ahead and filter those work orders down to a specific time range. So I can filter it down by a specific day, a specific week, a month, or a range. Okay, let's go ahead and look at work orders that are for a specific range. So let's start by looking at work orders from October 1st all the way until the end of the year, so December 31st. So as you can see, it does populate some more work orders to view. Uh, if I wanna narrow this search down a bit more, we can go ahead again and select more. And then let's look at work orders that have specific status, such as assigned. Let's also look at work orders that are assigned to a particular team member, such as Bill Bellamy. And then if we wanna go ahead and just look at my work orders only, or work orders that haven't been invoiced yet, we can do that as well. Okay, let's go ahead and look at that previous work order list. So I'll go ahead and deselect Bill Bellamy back to all teams, and let's change that status back as well. Great, now we have our list of work orders to look at. As you can see up top here, we have a bunch of categories to see as well. If I wanna go ahead and sort these categories out, say for instance, I wanna look at work orders that are coming up soon, I can select scheduled for, and it'll show me work orders that are coming up. Perhaps you wanna look at work orders that have a highest price tag, I can select price, and then I'll go ahead and sort those top to bottom as well. So as you can see here, tons of ways to filter and sort through your work orders list. If you wanna click on a work order without losing your filter view, you can always right click the work order ID, open a new tab, and that way you can see the details and still have your list here. Okay, you found that work order that you've been desperately searching for. It is work order 5-2 uh, associated with Target. So let's go ahead and click on that. And what we're also gonna do is we're gonna collapse these fields to make it easier to see. So I will select this collapse button, which is top right corner here. And that gives us an overhead view of all of the fields that we can work with. So perhaps you wanna look at just the activity notes associated with this work order. Maybe you wanna see just the photos that your technician took for this work order. And then you can also just see documents associated with this work order. 
So in conclusion, as you can see, Service Pitch offers a robust amount of views to work with. But at any time, you can easily narrow down or filter your search to make it easier for you and your team to seamlessly navigate around Service Bridge. Thanks for joining me. Hope to see you again soon.